Good morning, YouTube. Dude RV. Right now, I'm camped out at Paladuro Canyon State Park. It's been raining the whole time we've been here. And as you can see, it's still cloudy and dreary this morning. So we'll just have to pay another visit to Paladuro Canyon when the sun is shining. Right now, we're loaded up, packed up, and ready to hit the road. We're going to head over to Caprock Canyon State Park and see what's going on over there. It's going to be interesting getting out of this park because there was a rock fall on the steep 10% grade climbing out of the canyon. <laughs> so let's jump in this V and get on the road. We'll see if we can get out of this canyon. Rock Canyon State Park. Here we are. All right, we're in site number 18, and uh, I can't even remember the first first loop as you come into the park. Now, got to keep in keep our eyes open for bison because bison are roaming free in this park. Site number 18, very secluded site. Back in asphalt pad that's kind of crumbling text dot needs to get on that it's very level though water and 30 and 20. lots of privacy from the neighbors on either side big wooden cover over the patio or the picnic table it is a wooden picnic table that has seen some camper abuse. A lantern post and a fire pit. And a big muddy mess. And there's buffalo poo. Buffalo roam free. Uh, the other day when it was yesterday when it was raining so hard, this was probably just a big muddy mess. Today it's not so bad. A little bit damp. All right, we're going to get things sorted out, eat a little bit of lunch, and then I'm going to hop on the scooter, and we're going to go see what there is to see. Stay tuned. More to come. Arroyo, Arroyo, Arroyo 
Short Canyon Arroyo. I think that's what it's called. Cap Rock Canyon State Park. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it looks like it's some kind of observation point out here on a, a point of the Oh, now that's interesting. It's kind of a manufactured archaeological display. No covered. Huh. So this is the amphitheater for presentations. hesitant to get off the paved surfaces because there's been so much rain. Look at that. Ten thousand year old bison butchering camp. Hmm. So that's interesting. That's that's what they found when they dug it up. So the skull was perched up on the the bones. They're not sure if that was a, for ritual purposes or just somebody being creative. Probably a ritual. Just look at the vast beauty. This is just so incredible. I've been to a lot of Texas state parks. Haven't been to all of them, but this is by far one of the most amazing and incredible places that I've been in the state of Texas. And look what we have here. A terrapin. And when you pick them up, they fart. They smell like something dead. <laughs> that's, that's their defense, is they smell like something dead. Must work, otherwise they, they would have would have found some, some other way to deter predators. All right, let's go see some more stuff. I was kind of surprised to find that Caprock Canyon State Park actually has a, a fishing pier, but it, it seems that the lake is like really, really, really low. You're not gonna be doing a whole lot of fishing on this fishing dock. Oh, cool. Did y'all see that? Not sure what kind of bird of prey that is, but that was cool that we got to see it dive into the water maybe it'll do it again ramp over there is way out of the water anyway we can't stand here and wait wait on that bird all day there's some more pavilions over there we'll see if we can get over there so there is a, a playground if you get get little ones with you and they're and they're driving you crazy you can bring them over here and let them burn off some some energy we're in the day use picnic area. Sign says, swim at your own risk. And then, the, then there's a meadow. <laughs> All right, so I've made it over to those picnic pavilions. 
on the other side of the meadow. It looks like at one point there was some kind of buoy cable stretched across here to keep boaters out of the now dry swim area. But there's no real risk because the boat ramp is high and dry. And I don't know if that's by design or just because of lack of rain. I'm up here at the new visitor center where you where you check in at Caprock Canyon State Park. And I had to show you this. That is a big old bison. Look how tall it is. Now I'm I'm six foot three, so that's just the hump is taller than me, and that's a cow. have all kinds of goodies for you to purchase, spend your money on. Uh, you can actually check out fishing gear and whatnot up here. And anyway, Caprock Canyon State Park, welcome center. I'm out here doing a preliminary scouting run in the pickup for the FPV tour. Wouldn't you know the battery in the GoPro died, but Here's part of the Texas bison herd. They're all laying down for the afternoon, taking a siesta. All right, I'm at the end of the road here at, at Caprock Canyons State Park. <laughs> this is just stunning. Look at that view. Holy cow! How cool is that? It's like something you'd expect to see out in Moab, Utah. And it's just it's right here in West Texas. Man, y'all y'all got y'all got to come see it. The camera is not going to do this view real justice. This, this is something that you really have to see up close and personal to really, uh, really grasp the beauty. Here's part of the Texas bison herd at Caprock Canyon State Park. Thanks to the efforts of the Good Knights, Charles and his wife, mainly his wife, we are we still have Southern Plains bison in existence. Had not been for the good nights, they would all be gone.
I'm just tooling along here on Little Red, moving along at a, a jogging pace, I guess, since uh, I don't have high speed. This park, Caprock Canyon State Park, it, it, it surprises you. In that as you come in, you can see behind me, it's, it's just prairie. You really don't get the canyon part of it other than looking that direction and seeing the mesa. Here we are at the old original park entrance. Then you come up on top of this rise and it really starts to open up. You, you really get the feel for it when you look over here as you go across the dam and you start to see the Red Canyon over there. But there again, you're, you're just kind of getting a, a, a little hint, a little taste. You don't really appreciate what's to come until you get to the top of the next hill. We gotta go down into the spillway. All right, so this is where you really start to see what makes this park unique. We get, gotta get across the, the bison guard and then it opens up. Bam! Look at that. Wow! Caprock Canyon State Park. You gotta see it. Alright, we have reached Prairie Dog Town here at Caprock Canyon State Park. Look at all them little prairie dogs. I'm not sure how well they show up on the GoPro, but there's a whole lot of them. Both sides of the road. <laughs> so not only can you see bison, you can see prairie dogs. Good morning from Caprock Canyon State Park. Check out this sunrise. Isn't that gorgeous? Man. I hate to say it, but we gotta go. We gotta leave Caprock Canyon State Park and, and head out to our next destination. But I wanna give you a recap on this. Campsites are, are flat, they're level. There's Lots of screening bushes between the sites, so you got some privacy. We've got a nice big yard back here for the Ratty Pack to take care of their business so we don't have to go down the street with all the other dogs. And the canyon itself is just beautiful. We plan on coming back, not sure when, uh, but we will come back to this park and spend a couple of days here so that we can really, really take in the majesty of this park. You should come visit. Very cool place. So from here, we're headed to Lake Arrowhead State Park just outside of Wichita Falls. I appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. If this is your first time to Dude RV, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, click on that subscribe button down there and remember, click on that bell as well so that you don't miss another Dude RV production. I post new videos every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. In case you want to know that. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you. I am so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. With all that being said, hey, y'all come back now, you hear?